a little bit of music to get us started. We'll get started here in about 30 seconds. The music is kind of just for me in the background. So if you want to play your own music at home, go ahead, feel free to do so. Um, today, medium and light set of weights. I've got 10s and 12s with me today. Choose what you would like to use today. So you can use 12s, 15s, 20s, whatever works best for you. Um, tremendous 10. We're going to start with our typical warm up. Um, so about five, six ish minutes of a warm up. We'll get a little bit of a break. We'll jump into that tremendous 10 workout. That means 10 exercises today. So we've got 10 exercises. It's one minute each and they're going to roll right into the next. So 10 exercises. Essentially, it's 10 minutes of work. I'll give you two minutes of rest and then we're going to repeat that same thing again. So it's kind of like a marathon. It's not a sprint today, um, but I want you working hard for those 10 minutes. We have a little bit of finisher at the end. I'm not going to tell you until the very end with that. Um, and then we'll get ready to rock and roll. So towel, water, um, light, medium set of dumbbells. If you want music in the background, if you can't hear it, we're using um, our music that is good to go today. So um, if you can hear it, great. Stick with me with the beat. If you want to do your own beat, slow it down, speed it up. Right, You guys know the drill. So happy Friday. Get healthy UTV squad. We're ready to rock and roll. I'm going to get my timer. We're going to start with a warm up and we'll get ready to rock and roll. All right, here we go. So let's just start with a nice deep plie, bend those knees, arms go overhead. Slowly press it down, right shoulders relax down and out of your ears as you slowly press your butt back. Good, waking up your body, take a deep breath up. Good, slowly exhale down, one more down. Good, and slowly back. Let's just roll those shoulders up, back and down, right? Waking up those shoulders, body starting to get fresh right here. Roll the opposite way, shoulders come forward. Good, core stays tight, right? Feel what that feels like. Let's do one arm circles, forward and back, right? Just loosening up the joints. I always like to say, feel what that body feels like right away. Let's do that opposite hand. If you're feeling a little bit sticky, right, the best thing that we can do is start to warm up those arms, wake up those joints, right? If you're feeling extra, extra strong, way to go, right? We gotta pay attention to our bodies. We gotta push ourselves to make that change. Hands go overhead. One last time, arms go down. Let's start with a few squats. It's down and up, right? Squeezing your glutes at the top. Doesn't need to be fast. Just starting to wake up our body. Heart rate starts to come up. Weight is heavy through those heels, right? So you guys know, butt goes back, chest is lifted. Good, right here. Squeeze, it's down and up. You've got two more, one and two. Good, hands go overhead. Reach those hands down to the ground, right? So feel those hamstrings, hello. Waking up the back side of those legs. Just rock from side to side. Right, if you can touch the ground, touch the ground. If not, repeal those hamstrings, just come alive. Now walk your hands to the outside of one of your legs. Does that matter? Right or left? Reach that arm high. Three arm circles. One, two, three. Walk those hands to the opposite side. Right, feel the left hamstring, right, or right, whatever it is, does not matter. Opposite hand goes to the sky. Three wrist rolls. One, two, three. Right, hands come back to heart center. Now I want you to start bending that leg to opposite side. It's one, two, three. Switch sides. It's one, two, three. Right, opposite side. Go one, two, three. Just waking up the inner thighs, the outer glutes. Two, three, hips come back to heart center. And you can stay on the ground. Now walk your feet a little bit closer. Right, hello hamstrings a little bit more. Now walk your hands forward, high plank and hold it. Right, so we want you to find that high plank. Shoulders set directly on top of those wrists. Pull your belly button into your spine. Right, legs are long, you're just holding. Right, core is active here. Now walk your right foot to the opposite side of that hand. Reach your right arm up to the sky, and I want you to bend the elbow down to the floor, maybe your ankle, and back up, right? Maybe it just comes to the calf, and back up. You've got one more just like that. Hold it high in three, two, one. Now roll your shoulder forward, three arm circles forward, but in backwards, three times, one, two, three. Hold it high. Now switch legs, right? High plank in the center. 
left foot opposite side of that left hand arm reaches higher roll that wrist out now three arm circles forward and to the back we got one two three good squeeze hands come back down find a high plank now you're just gonna walk it out it's right in center left center right center left center you've got four feel that hip three two hold your high plank in one right there now draw your knees down the center it's in mountain climbers it's low one two one two we're gonna speed it up right here for eight seven six five three four three two one high plank hold walk your feet to the opposite side outside of your hands yogi squat right here press your knees wide heart rate starting to come up right here rocking side to side good now hips come up we're gonna start to get that cardio up right here it's jack it out two three heart rate is going to start to come up here shoulders down make sure you're breathing good we've got that warm up to get us ready to work yes you can it's eight seven six five four three two one butt kicks right here good so i want you to kick your butt heels all the way to your butt right there course tight shoulders down and out of yours eight seven six five four three two one squat it down reach high down up right here butt goes back arms go up eight seven six five we've got the dog in the way we've got four get up it's three two this is real life right here but jack it out squeeze gotta get out of the way right there good out and we're gonna add a knee lift in three two one out knee lift out knee lift it's one jack one knee lift one jack one knee lift right there yes you can breathing through your mouth squeeze out lift out lift you have four yes you can three two and one back to those butt figures right here shoulders down heels to your butt four three two one knees come in the center right so you can take this low impact right take the jump out of it right here if you want a little bit more higher intensity you've got that range of motion hands go overhead right there four three hamstring curls in two and one it's back back feel the hamstrings feel the quads as you kick your butt right here yes heart rate coming up at 10 nine eight seven six five four three two one it's down and up right here finishing up with a little bit of squats down and up right butt goes back chest stays lifted right more squats why not squeeze down and up you have four three arms go overhead two and last one down and up right there awesome work you guys so grab towel of water this is where i'm going to explain what you need to do right if you need a little bit more of that warm-up press pause and come back when you are ready tremendous 10 10 exercises today right so 10 we're gonna work our way through every single one. I'm gonna cue you ahead of time what that next movement is to get you into it, but you start when I cue you. So I've got the time already for you. You don't need to count reps, none of that stuff today. I will give you one minute for each exercise. After those 10 minutes, we'll get a little bit of rest and we're gonna do that same circuit again. So 10 exercises, one minute each, right? I want you to push yourself. It should become a little bit exhausting or you should be breathless with the cardio moves strength you should feel a little bit of the burnout but remember it's 10 minutes so we're not doing 40 seconds on 20 seconds off today it is 10 minutes where you're aerobic the entire time so think more about a marathon less about a sprint today you got it two times through that circuit so the very first movement you're gonna grab your weight i'll get you set up and then i'll cue the timer so we're gonna come down weights are here you're gonna find a sumo squat you're gonna do a front raise hands come up drop it down 
back up to the top of your squat. So it's down, front raise at the bottom, hands come down, and you squeeze up to the top, right? That's our very first movement. So I want you to get those dumbbells ready. Sumo squat with a front raise. I'll show you some modifications. You've got five, four, here we go. Three, two, one. So at the bottom of your yogi squat, hands come up to your shoulders and back down, right? I want you to find a pace that you can stick with for one whole minute, right? 60 seconds is a long time, but you have to find that strength now. So down that pace, if you would like, where you do not have to stick with me. If you can, awesome, great. If you wanna go a little bit faster, take it as you need it. Now, if that shoulder is at the bottom holding that squat is too much, I want you to try this. It's down, up, one front raise. Now, shoulders are gonna feel on fire at some point. That's okay, stay shoulders down. Think about that yogi squat going down a wall. So you're not coming forward. Weight is through your heels, it's down. Let's keep going. This is your next variation coming at you in six seconds. You're gonna squat to the side, jump to the center, down, up. You've got three, join with me, squat jumps in two, once you're gonna go side, together, front, together, side. Right, pick up that pace. You are essentially squatting side, front, and side as you switch every single time now. If you want to amp this one up, you stay low. It's squat, squat, squat. Right, take this center out of it. Low impact right here. You're down. Come to the center. Down. Come to the center. Take the jump out of it. Right, whatever works best for you. You're halfway through this one, team, right here. Heart rate coming up. A little bit of like cardio burst right here. Good. Now I'm going to start moving to the next movement. You're gonna grab those weights again. I'm gonna grab my heavier set. You've got 10 more seconds. Stay with that squat jump. It's bicep curl, overhead press. You've got five. Grab those weights, transition in three, two, one. Bicep curl, overhead press. I want you to get into this one as quickly as you can. All right, so I'm gonna cue you ahead of time. I'll tell you when to transition. One bicep curl, one over press. Now we should all be into it. I want you to do three bicep curls. One, two, three. Now three overhead presses. One, two, three. Core is tight. Tuck that tailbone under. It's one, two, three. Three overhead presses. Yes, you can. One, two, three. Now stick with me at the bottom. You're going to be the one on the right. Press it overhead. Come back down. Now left arm. One. All the way up. Now we're gonna burn it out together with the last 15 seconds. One bicep curl, one overhead press. Yes, you can. Good, right here. Yes, up and over. You have 10 more seconds. Stay with it. Core is tight. No swinging, right? No momentum. You've got five. You're going down to the ground. In three, find a high plank and hold it. In two, one, find your high plank right here. We're gonna do one up, down. It's elbow, elbow. Hand, hand. Two plank jacks. Here we go. Get into it. It's down, down. Up, up. Two jacks. Right here, right? Heart rate coming up. Now you find what works best for you. If you need, it's down, down, up, up on your knees. And then pop up to your toes and do two plank jacks. Right, if you want a few more of your up, up, down, down, maybe you take two. Switching the hand that's doing the leading, right? So a lot of us are dominant in one side. Don't choose that arm the entire time. Come up, up, down, down. Two plank jacks, right? A lot of core, a lot of shoulder stabilization. I know you're feeling your upper body. Stay with it. Breathe. 10 strong seconds right here. I'm going to get you into that next move. Keep with it. You've got five more seconds. It's a long jump forward. Sink low. Run it back. You've got three, two, one. Stand up. Find that transition. It's one jump forward. Now run it back. Right, long jump forward, find the bottom of your squat. Run it back, now low impact. Right, take two big steps, drop it down low, and then quickly just walk it back. Right, so you can run it back as fast as you can, driving those arms, or take it out of it, right? Maybe you slow it down. Maybe you take two walks forward, drop it down, find that heart rate. This is where I want you to push yourself with that cardio. Yes, point through your heels. Remember, 10 minutes, 
of movement, 10 minutes of strength, and you're not alone, right? I'm right beside you. You have 10 seconds. Now, the next movement, stay with it, is a squat high pull, one lunge back, and we're gonna stay on that same leg the entire time. Grab your weights in three, two, one, grab your weight. So it's squat, high pull, lunge it back, staying on that same leg and that same arm the entire time. Because guess what? We've got another minute later when we go through our second set to do the opposite side. Now this is where I want you to find strength and not focus so much on that heart rate. Yes, heart rate is high. Totally get it, right? But I want you to slow it down if you need. Hand goes overhead. Opposite arm is out for that stabilizer. Right, if this is too much on the shoulder, rack it here. One step back with that lunge, right? Same leg comes back every single time. So too much overhead, hand comes to your shoulder. Right, you have 10 more seconds. You're gonna ditch that weight in four, three, two, one. Find a lunge, you're gonna do double lunge. It's one, two, switch. One, two, switch, one, two, switch. This is it, right? So you're in two. Move number eight, double lunge and switch, right? If you need to take it out of it, step forward. Take the jump out, step back. Two pulses, step forward, step back, right? If you would like to amp it up a little bit, take the pulses out and you're doing lunge jumps. Those split jumps for one whole minute, where right? You decide what works best for you. Weight is heavy through your heels, right? So you're not back and you're not forward. Straight down, center of gravity, right in the center, 90, 90 lunges. Pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch. You have 12 more seconds right here. Good, squeeze. I'm gonna transition into the next move. You have six more seconds. Grab one dumbbell. Find a high plank in three, two, one. Find a high plank. You're gonna have one push up, down. Grab that weight, drag it to the opposite side. One push up down, you're gonna grab the weight, pull it to the opposite side. So it's one push up, down, pop up, dumbbell drag to the opposite side. You can find the push up on your knees, pop up to that high plank and drag. So I'll show you from this side. High plank, find that push up down and up. Grab that weight, drag it over. I'm not worried about speed here. I'm worried about strength. So when you grab that weight, you're keeping your hips level, right? No rocking of the weight side to side, hips stay level. It's one push up and one dumbbell drag, right? There's a lot of core. You should feel your obliques working right here, yes. Good, it's down. You have time for one more, drag it across. Three, two, one. Find a sit up position. You're gonna lay on back, hands go overhead. You're gonna roll all the way up, hand goes to opposite leg, get your butt off the ground, roll back, switch legs. Opposite hand, I want your entire body, if you can, to get off the ground. You're gonna feel obliques. This is move number 10, you guys. You got it right here. And you're almost there, right? If you can not get your weight all the way off the ground, right, even just a centimeter, that's it, right? That's your body weight, yes? If that's not happening for you today, all the way up, right, hands go overhead, roll down, roll up, hands go overhead, right, take the lift out of it. If you can, obliques right there, press your heels into the ground, lift your body up. You should feel side body. If you have five, can you give me one more? Yes, you can. Three, two, and one. Awesome, awesome job right there. So that was 10 exercises. I want you to grab your towel, your water, two minutes right here to just kind of regain yourself. So if you need to walk around, I forgot my towel today. If you need to walk around, I walk around. If you want to do a few more squats, right, go ahead. But I need you to take this time to let that heart rate come back down. Good, squeeze. This is where you should feel breathless, right? 10 minutes. It's a long time to keep that heart rate up, to find that strength. Now, you know 
what that full circuit looks like. We're gonna do that same thing again one more time from the top, from exercise number one all the way down to exercise number 10. I hope I didn't miss anything in there, but let's hope I did. Ooh, maybe only did nine exercises, but we'll add that on later. So I did forget one. You're lucky, all right? I'll add that one on. I'm like, my timer says we're not ready. That's A-OK. -okay. We'll add it on this at the end of this next one. Um, and know that we have a finisher today. So right after this, again, it's 10 minutes. I'm gonna give you those 10 minutes to really work through all of those exercises. Another rest, and then we've got a finisher. So know that at the end of these 10 exercises, we're not quite there, but it's not gonna be nearly as long as those 10 minutes. Make sure you're hydrating, right? Water, super important right here. We have 45 seconds left of your rest, right? Then we're gonna get back into it. So take this time, do what you need, right? If you need to walk around your house, do so. Towel, water, whatever you need to do. We have another 25 seconds. Make sure you have your weights right by. And know that in this round, I'm gonna add on that move that I forgot, it's about halfway through. See if this is what happens when you're at home, you're live. We make mistakes, it's okay, we just add it on. We have 10 more seconds, right? Grab your weights, right? So whether they're light, whether they're heavy, it's up to you. We start with that sumo squat, front raise, and we stand up, right? So make sure you have those weights close by. You have five, breathe it out, it's four, three, two, one. Grab those weights, here we go. So 10 minutes down, raise those arms high, down, Squeeze to the top, right? So you find your own pace. Shoulders stay down. Second time through, right? It's still one minute of these exercises. Yes. This is where I like to kind of find my word for the day, right? So every single time I do a workout or especially when I do a run, I have a word. Power. Drive. What is it for you today? Right? What is your reason for showing up? Yes. Some days easier than others, some days harder, right? If that's whole, hard to hold at the bottom, stand up, one front raise. You have 17 more seconds, and you're not gonna see this move again. Yeah, shoulders down, squeeze your glutes, butt goes back, weight is through your heels. Yes, you can, eight seconds, stay with it. Squat, jump, side, front, side. Here we go, you've got three, transitioning as quickly as you can in two, one, so butt goes back, squat, together. Squat together, squat together, right? So that is your medium um, workout right there, right? If you wanna amp it up, you stay low, it's squat, squat, squat. If you'd like, you can make it all the way around, right? Front, side, back, side, right? Find what works best for you. If you would need a low impact option, down, feet come together, down, feet come together. Down, feet come together, right? You choose what works best for you. Second time through, this should get you out of breath. Right, breathless, hands go overhead for a little bit more of that range of motion. Yes, you can, you are strong right there. Good, 10, nine, grab your weights in five, four, you have one bicep curl overhead press. Three, two, one, grab your weight, one bicep curl. One overhead. This is where I need you to slow your breath down. Yes, core is tight, right? So not arching the back, tuck it under. One straight line from your head to your tailbone. Good, now give me a right arm only. One bicep curl press. Bring it back down, left arm. Left arm up, overhead press. One more time on both sides, just like that. Breathe shoulders down, core is tight, ribs are tucked in. Now. Three bicep curls in the center. One, two, no swinging. Three overheads. One, two, three. What do you say for these last 20 seconds? You give me one bicep curl, one overhead. Yes, you can. Right, do not give up on yourself. If you need one arm only, you do what works best for you, 10 more seconds, right? We're coming down to the ground for one plank up, down, and two jacks. You've got four, three, two, and one, ditch those weights. So you're in a high plank. It's elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Two plank jacks, down, down, up, up. Right, so you should feel those shoulders from your overhead press. If you need, knees come down, but bring your hips with you. Right, so hips are not back, hips are forward, down, down, 
up, up. Then you pop up if you can. Out and in right there. Leading with the opposite hand. Right, you have 25 seconds left with this move. You can do and conquer all things as long as you keep your mind in the game. Right, you have 15 seconds. Do not quit on yourself now. Right, you've made it this far. This is where we're going to add on that move that I forgot the first time. So you're going to grab your heavy weights, right? You've got five more seconds. Stay there. It's one deadlift, one row. Grab your weights in three, two, one. So it's one deadlift. Butt goes back. You're going to roll at the bottom and stand up. So weight is through your heels, right? We always go over deadlifts. One row. Squeeze back up right there. It's down. Up, down, lift. Butt goes back. Good. So again, difference between the deadlift and the squat. Squat butt goes back, chest stays lifted. Here, soft bend through the knees. I want you to keep your weights close to your legs. One straight line from your head to your tailbone. You row and stand up. Good. Right there, find your breath. Feel the backside of your hamstrings. Good. Squeeze. Down. Row. Down. Up. Right, you find your pace. Good. Squeeze right there. You have five. Four. I want you to hold it at the bottom of that deadlift. Three. Two, hold it here. You have just your rows. Good. Stay there. Feel your hamstrings with eight, seven, six. Just your rows to finish. Four, three. Drop your weights in two, one. Drop your weights. You have long jump forward. Jump and race your weight to the back right here. This is where I want you to push your cardio. Good. Heart rate is coming up. Now, again, taking maybe two steps forward. One squat at the bottom. Stand up. Not so fast on the way back if you need that low impact where you do what's work, working best for you today. But I need this to push you so that you come out on the other side of this a little stronger, a little bit more endorphins running through your body to know that you can get through the rest of your day. Yes, shoulders up, down, and back. You have 10 more seconds. Right? Push yourself. Good. Stay with it. You're going to grab that weight in five, squat, high, pull, lunge on the opposite leg, opposite arm. In three, two, one, right here. Squat, high, pull, opposite leg, back. Good, right here. So sticking with the other side this time, with that one squat, high, pull, one, lunge back. So opposite your arm is out for that counterbalance if you need front racket. Make sure that you're keeping your belly tight, right? So you're not stepping back, leaning forward. Squat, butt goes back, high pull. Knee goes down, 90-90 lunge. Come back up. Find your pace. It can be faster than me, right? It can be slower than me. Right here, 20 seconds on the clock. Breathe. Try to slow that breath down, knowing that you're focusing on your form here. Relax that shoulder down. Nine, eight, seven. You're dropping your weights in five. You have that double lunge switch in three, two, one. Find your lunge, double lunge. It's one, two, switch, one, two, switch. Pulse, two, switch. So know that you can come up in the center and step back. Right, that's just as hard. There's a lot of strength happening. You've already done a lot of cardio. Heart rate is up, I know, I know. For you choose what works best for you. If you want to amp it up a little bit, it's lunge jump right here. 30 seconds left. I know legs are burning. Great lungs might be burning. Maybe you take four of stepping back. Then maybe you find a double pulse and switch for four, three, two, one. Or you find what works best for you. No, I mean, you can always change that variation up, but you have 12 more seconds left. Can you finish strong for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4? Grab one weight in 3, 2, 1. Grab one weight. You have push up, one dumbbell drag. So weight is on the opposite side. I'm doing push ups for my knees. One push up, up to that high plank. Grab your weight, drag it across. Not too far, right? So I'll show you from the front. One push up down, pop up, grab it, opposite hand. There we go. 
you come down. If that's where you're taking your push-up today, opposite hand drags across. Now, as you drag across, I want you to feel your oblique. So you need to squeeze your butt as you do this. Yes. I will go back. One drag. So as you grab that weight, I want you to keep your hips down. If you need, you can take the drag from your knees. Right? It's up to you to find where you're at today. But I want you to challenge yourself a little bit. Well, shit, you got three. Ready for that sit up in two, one, ditch those weights. Okay? Cancel overhead. Quick transition. Get your butt up off the ground. Yes. Opposite hand reaches for that opposite leg. I want you to use your core and not just momentum. Yes. It takes work to plant your hand to get your butt up off the ground and bring it back overhead. Good, right here. That's 10 strong minutes. And you are down to your final 25 seconds. Core, shoulders, triceps. Get me to those hamstrings as you dig your heel into the ground, right? Right here, 15 more seconds. You can do anything. You've made it this far. Do not quit now. You have nine, I'm with you. For five, drop on down, towel off in four, three, one more, yes you can, two, and one. Water towel, forgot my towel today, so I hope all of you are toweling off. We have two minutes again to rest, and then we have a finisher. We're gonna start our finisher with our one deadlift, one row, because we need to get two sets of those in. <laughs> Thanks. So, towel water off, towel off, water, there we go. You have 90 more seconds. So, how this finisher is going to work, it's going to be a six minute finisher because we forgot that deadlift, right? So, one deadlift, one row, stand on up. After that, you're going to grab dumbbell. I'll cue you, but just so you know the movement coming up, we have 30 seconds of a dumbbell swing. Okay, so it's like a kettlebell swing. Right here, we're gonna go over this. Weight comes like right in your crotch, and you're gonna swing it forward by squeezing your glutes. I want you to think less about this arm and more about the hip hinge. Right, so it's like that deadlift, and it's not a squat. Weight should never go below your knees. It should stay right here, and you swing. 30 seconds on one side, we switch to the other. You have 45 more seconds to grab your breath, yes? Pull it down from there. We have one chest press, one tricep. One chest press, one tricep. I'm gonna give you an option for core right there. Now, third movement is plank lateral raises. So you need one dumbbell. Four on this side, pretend I did four, drop it in the center, and we're gonna switch. I'll give you modifications there, okay? From here, we go into high boat and low boat. We're gonna play around with some variations there. I'll tell you when we get in it. And then last but not least, we have our burpee to finish, right? I'm gonna give you an option here. This is gonna be your most challenging option with this burpee. Burpee all the way down. One plank jack, one up, one jump at the top. So burpee, plank, Star jump is what we're gonna call that one. Again, I'll give you options as we go through that one. But this is our six minute finisher and you push yourself knowing that you have nothing left. Right? This is where I want you to push yourself. It's one minute per exercise and then you are done. We're gonna cool down and you're off for your Friday. Are we ready? Grab your weights for one deadlift, one row. Yes, you have five. Four, grab those weights, push yourself. It's six minutes left. Three, two, one, one deadlift, butt goes back. One row, yes you can. Good, butt goes back, we have to make sure that we even out our body, right? So I don't wanna just do this move one time because deadlifts honestly are one of my favorite leg moves. You feel the whole backside of your hamstrings and it's a little bit different than that squat, right? It's actually a lot different. We're not bending our knees, right? Soft bend though, weight stay towards your legs one hinge forward, right? So when you get to 
that point you feel your hamstring, right? This might be as far forward as you can go. That's a okay. As a dancer, right, I have a little bit more flexibility in my hamstring so I can go lower, but that does not mean that you go that low, right? You find what works best for you, knowing that you have 15 seconds of this movement. Find your pace that you can stick with for 10. Now, I'm right, if you need to grab a happier weight, do so. We have dumbbell swings right here coming up. You've got three. Grab one weight in two, one. So stick with one side of that weight. We'll switch at the 30 second mark, right? I've got you on the clock. You worry about your form, right? So again, let's go over that form. Weight goes right in between your legs, no lower than the knee, right? It should be above. You swing your hips forward. It's that hip hinge back. Good, right there. The arm is the counterbalance, but don't think about this as a front raise. Good, you have three. Switch those arms in two, one. Switch on the fly if you can. Right there, opposite arm out. Right, so notice how I'm sending my hips back and then pushing them forward by squeezing your glutes. The weight is still heavy through your heels. Good. Core stays tight. One straight line from head to tailbone, right? Opposite arm out for that balance, just stopping at shoulder height. So don't go too high. It's all about the legs here. You have three. Switching to that chest press in three, two, one. So grab weight. Start with your feet on the ground. One chest press. One tricep. Now, advanced option right here. You can bring your legs to a tabletop position. More core activation. If you would like more core and a little bit harder, legs go straight. One chest press. One tricep. Right, so right here, if you find that your low back is ever popping off the ground. I want you to bring your knees to that tabletop position, right? That's still core, but you can really stabilize to the back side of your arms, chest, where if that's too much, feet come down and you focus on the upper body, right? You have, let's see, 10 more seconds. Stay with it, right? I'm gonna transition you into the next move. You have five, you find a high plank, one weight in three, Two, one, plank right here. You got lateral raise it. So it's one, you got four, three, two, and one. Drop it, switch to the other side. So the goal here is to try and stay in that high plank the entire time. Four lat raises, right? So you're reaching your opposite arm out as you're staying in that high plank. Now, if that is too much, right? I've got a shoulder injury. Drop down to your knees. Hips come forward, four on the right. Take it on your own pace, right? I'm not worried about speed here. What I am worried about is that you find strength, stability in your core, right? Core, shoulders, lap, everything is on fire here. You have 10 more seconds. You're gonna ditch your weights all together, okay? Can you finish it off, right? If you have three more left, finish it off, and then you join me in two, well, one, ditch that way. We got high boat, just hold it here. Right hands off the ground, feet off the ground. Right here, we're gonna go to low boat, you find me. And two, one, right there, good, squeeze and hold. Shoulders relax down. Up, hold, down, hold. Up, hold, down, hold. Up, hold, down, hold. Up, hold. Down, hold it right there, pulse your feet. It's up, down, up, down, right and left. Yes, eight, seven, high, both in five, four. Yes, you can in three, core strong, two, one. Hold it right here, find your breath. Good, you have 10 more seconds. We're going down and up in three, two, one, 10, nine. Yes, you can do anything. You are conquering your day. Your last minute of your finisher coming up in three. It's burpee, two, one. Grab your variation of a burpee. So the hardest option right here, all the way down. Push up, one, jump out, stand up, hands overhead. One more time, just like that, feet out. One plank jack, one star jump. Now, option a little scaled back, just a little bit. Come to your high plank, come back up, star jump, right here. If you need to take the jump out of it, take it out. You plant your hands, you lock your feet back, 
you walk your feet in, make sure chest is up, you stand up, you go all the way back down right here. You have 20 seconds and you're done. Can you push yourself right here? Yes. The answer is I can, I will, because you are strong. Good. You have 10 strong seconds. Do not quit right here. You have five. Can you get one? Maybe two more and you've got three, two, one. Rest. Grab your towel, water. Awesome, awesome job, you guys. I am sweating. I hope you are at home. Take a second to regain yourself. Grab some water. Make sure that you're always hydrating with your water during, before, after workout. We're going to cool down. That was a 40, 45 minute workout for you today. We always have to cool down our body and you are set for the rest of your day. Good. So let's start right where we, let's do a squat right where you started out your class today. So let's down, breathe, let that heart rate come down. Good. Find a squat because you know, we can, right? Lots of squat, lots of legs. I know, I know. Good. Right here. Hands go overhead. Grab your opposite wrist, does not matter. Pull over to one side. Open up that side body. Hold it. Come back to the center. Opposite hand grabs opposite wrist. Stretch to the other side. Open up that side body. As far as you can go, right? Not rotating through the hips. Hips stay forward. Pull it, hold. Three, two, one. Let's flap out those arms a little bit. Yes, you can. Good. Hands come back over. Reach those hands to the ground. Touch the floor. This should feel a little bit different than the first time you did it today. Right hamstrings, hopefully, are feeling a little bit more stretched out. Now I want you to find your runner's lunge on one side. Does not matter which side you're on. I'm on my right. You can find right or left. It's up to you. Good, right there. Feel the stretch. The back side, right? If this is too much on that back hip, bring that back knee down. But if you can just hold it here, you've got five. Where everyone's back knee comes down in three, two, one. Back knee comes down, chest lifts. I want you to bring your hands to your knees and push your hip forward. Right, but not opening and turning. Both hips square to your front, whatever that is for you. You're going to press that up. Press your hips forward. Feel the opening of that hip flexor. that one more time, right? Know that I'm a dancer, so I have a little bit more flexibility. You might be here. A okay, right? You find what works best for you. Hold it here, three, shoulders down, two, one. I want you to try to grab the off the back leg, right? You might be able to grab it with one. You might be able to grab it with both. Then from there, I want you to send your hips forward. Arms are back, chest stays tall. Right, feel the quad. You have three, two, one. Let that back leg go. But come to your runner's position. I want you to open up towards the front right here. Good, squeeze, now find the opposite side. Just transition your weight to the opposite leg. Yes, seamlessly transitioning, bringing your heart rate down, pulling your body up. Let's find that runner's lunge. Again, right there. So knee set directly on top of your heel. Right, we're not forward, we're right on top. Feel that back leg straightening. Hold it, three. Everyone's back knee comes down in two. One, back knee comes down. Flip your toe under, chest lifts. Now from here, I want you to find knee set directly on top of your heel again. Pressing your hips forward through the back leg. Right now, come up, take a deep breath in, and slowly push yourself forward. Right? So you should feel that hip opening up in the back. Coming up one more time, pressing it forward right there. Good, shoulders down and back. Now I want you to try to reach for the back leg. If you can with one, great. Right, maybe you need to find a little bit more support. If you can, both hands to the back leg, shoulders down and back. Now try to bring that back knee in while pressing your hips forward. You're gonna feel the front side of the hip, the front side of that quad opening up right there. You've got four, yes, three. Pulling that body down, sitting down in two. One, sit down. Fine. Your legs long in front of your hands. Go reach towards the ceiling. Right, you want your back nice and long. Slowly, slowly stretch your hands apart, right? Giving yourself a little bit of that forward fold. 
healing hamstrings, right? So we did those deadlifts. You had lunges, right? A lot happening there. Trying to reach yourself a little bit further forward as you just sink in to this stretch. Hands come overhead. Bring one knee into your chest. Keep that other leg long. Wrap yourself in. Try and do a little bit of that twist. Opening and rinsing out those organs. Right, a little bit of that opener in that chest. Shoulders down. Lift your head up towards the ceiling. Switching sides. Right, opposite leg goes long. Bring the other knee into your chest. Wrap it in as tight as you can. Lift your head towards the ceiling. And try and find a little bit of that twist. Right, so you should feel it open up through the back. You should feel a little bit of rinsing out through your midsection, right? Awesome, awesome job today, you guys. I know there's a little bit of a hiccup there right in the middle um, with missing one of those uh, movements, but we got it. 10 movements each one minute. We did it two times through with a little bit of that finisher for an awesome 45 minute workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you need more stretching, we've got a lot of stretching, Pilates, yoga. Um, if you are, if it's nice outside, right, go get yourself out for a little bit of walk, a cool down walk. I always love just walking it out after I do a strength workout, but you guys kicked it. Awesome. Awesome job. Have an awesome rest of your day. You guys, thanks for joining and we'll see you next time.